okay, they came up with a formula to show what type of answers you'll have. And it's called the discriminant. It's the term underneath the square root in the quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac. So you're going to be asked to do th two things. Find the discriminant and state the nature of... of the roots. Now different books break it up in different ways. I just broke it up in three ways because we're not going to really spend that much time on this. So I did it if it's greater than zero the discriminant then it's two real roots. Root just means answer. They also sometimes call them zeros. If the discriminant is equal to zero, then it's a double rational root, meaning it, it can be written as a fraction. And if it's less than zero, it's a conjugate pair, meaning uh, if one is 2 plus 4i, the other one's 2 minus 4i. So a conjugate pair of imaginary roots. A lot of writing with the last couple of sections. So for this problem, b is negative 7, so b squared is 49. Minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times 1 is 4, so that's 45. Now the 45 itself doesn't really matter to us. What matters is, is it positive, is it 0, or is it negative? And in this case, 45 is positive, so the nature of the roots would be two real roots. So this one, b squared is 25 minus 4 times 2 times negative 2 would be a negative 16. Minus minus this plus so would be 41. Now again, for what we're trying to do, 41 is not the important point. It's, it's positive, so it's two real roots. Now here, b is 6, so b squared is 36, minus 4 times 1 times 9 is 36, so it's 0. So that would be a double rational root. Then the last one b is 1, so b squared is 1, minus 4, a is 1, c is 10, so that would be 40, which is a negative 39. Now again, the number itself is not that important. It's, is it positive, is it 0, or is it negative? And that's negative. So it'd be a conjugate pair of imaginary roots. Hey, that's not so bad. Have a 